Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. You may already have noticed that today's video is a little bit different from our regular releases, and that's because it's the first in a new series about emerging artists. When we reached 1 million subscribers, I began to deeply consider what additional good we could bring to the table with 1 million pairs of eyeballs. And one of those answers is that we can move the needle and boost an emerging artist who creates extraordinary music, but may not be receiving as many views as they deserve. I invite you to join me today in appreciating a rock and roll group out of India whose lead singer shook me with his very first note. Yeah, that was my first introduction to Garish and the Chronicles, and it is so awesome. I've listened to this clip multiple times, and every time I just feel gleeful at hearing it. The way that he attacks his sound has so much energy in it. He's like driving just energy through this like little tiny space because we hear all of these extra vibrations that are happening in there as well. But he also has such an incredible maintenance of support underneath. He is a powerhouse vocalist. It There's undeniable command in his voice and undeniable fun too. I want to go back to this moment where he starts singing. I just love the way he grabs us with that first note. <laughs> right? I have to say, it makes me so happy that I get to share this with you right now because we need to listen to Girish and the Chronicles way more. It's amazing. Okay, one more time. <laughs> the sounds he's making there and the way he has so much line it's like you can hear that the sound is connected super super low <sighs> oh back a little more see we got baritone class happening so he's a tenor The way he enters time there, he's hooking into the sound. This is something that opera singers will often do, especially tenors. They kind of like, it's almost like a groan into the sound. It tells me he is so attached to his entire support system. It That's just delightful because the lines that he sings, if he wasn't attached, they would wreck him. But instead he sings these lines with this soaring capability, which I find incredibly exciting. And I love the way that through that entire phrase, there are moments that he's accenting things, but he's never actually letting go of that support. Again, incredible support under this incredible instrument. Boom, boom, boom. Shoot, it's so good. Let's look at another clip. Of the 
So I really want to highlight this one because of the way it starts low. He doesn't have a lot of grit yet in his sound, right? We go up higher and he's able to add more distortion on the sound, right? To almost sound like an electric guitar at times. But there's a lot of roundness in this lower part of his voice. It's a cool setting for a video too. And if I go back even a little bit here, there's so many things about how he sings that remind me of Dio, also Bruce Dickinson. Just like, whoa, he's capturing both already. <laughs> So one of the things is the way he goes up in his register here and opens up the sound. It, it feels very Dio to me. Right there. And he has a bite, a night, and a vibrato too that are very Dio-esque. And the way that he has a slide on tails, that makes me think of the storytelling elements that both Dio and Bruce bring to the table. His phrasing, some of that really, really long sustained phrasing, which we'll look at that endurance later too, that to me feels very Bruce. Like, how are these guys not just blowing up the internet like insanely right now? Because we're talking about Dio and Bruce and Girish in the same sentence here. He is so, so good. So you hear that sliding in there. Again, it was very similar to the previous clip in the way that we're giving that storytelling element. And that eye and the vibrato again. <laughs> like, holy crap. We heard his low register at the beginning of the other song and now you hear this high extension here with this almost like fry added on top. Whoa, whoa. And you know he's controlling how much of that he's adding in. It's just really, really cool. So hooked into his sound. <laughs> right. Oh, there's even like a little Judas Priest element in there sometimes. A uh, little Rob Halford that peeks his head, I think, in the way that he is able to access some of that higher distortion. But I wanted to point out particularly the chorus in this song. And it has many elements in common with other choruses in their work as well, where you have these O's that the audience could sing along to. They are good at developing a catchy chorus. There's an element that you immediately say, oh, yeah, I know those notes. I could sing that the second time that the chorus comes up in the song. And you've even got that backing O to really encourage you to go with it. So I think they would be really, really fun to see perform live. But then I love the way that they're making use of Girish's voice on top of that, essentially riffing over. I'll go back one more time. And then I'm excited the instrumental section of this is going to be so fun to dive into because it's not just Girish that's incredible. The band is fantastic. Fantastic. 
There we go. There's the O's. He just wails. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so obviously this instrumental break is incredible. A few of the things that I really like about it, other than epic, epic technique <laughs> that rivals any concert violinist, uh, I also just really like the way that they suspend our sense of time. There are many moments where you expect a large downbeat to come in, and instead they'll suspend it up and then give it to you a little bit later. It really messes with our sense of where things are going sometimes. So we have moments in the song that are easy to hook into, but then moments that feel a little progressive. Even the section going into the latest part of this instrumental solo, it essentially morphed and took us to a new journey. So I feel that there's a complexity in their music that is accompanied by accessibility. Uh, this combo is really, really awesome. And I hope you will check out many, many more of their songs that have this really beautiful combination. So this instrumental break and loaded, I just love the way, first of all, that Garish helped into it with the slide up. Slides like that are super, super good for their voice. It's like a sign of really healthy registers if you can do that. But then we entered and you felt immediately that sort of hit and absence of a hit that would happen and throw us a little bit off kilter. I love the dissonance they're using here. Lots of half steps. It's just kind of a fun and crazy break. Let's go back. Right. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Shout out to all the band members. You have Garish, who is on lead vocals, of course. Then you have Siraz, who's doing lead guitars. Garish's brother, Yogesh, is also in the band. Hey, yo, brothers are awesome. Love to hear that you guys are playing together. He's playing the bass guitar, he's doing some produ production keyboards too. And then you have Noggin, who is on the drums. Let's talk a little bit about where these guys have come from. This clip, I feel, is almost romantic in comparison to the heavy metal sound that is coming out from them now.
just love how there's so much sweetness in his sound. And you have those O's already happening in the chorus there as well. This recording was released about six years ago. It's interesting if we take a look at the whole trajectory of the band, I think we can understand a little bit of the hardships that they've overcome and where they are going. They released their first album in 2014, but that was at a time when it was hard to figure out what medium to release an album on. The digital advent had arrived, of course, but Spotify and iTunes weren't really well adopted yet in India, so there was a struggle there. In addition to being at the forefront of rock and roll in India, they ended up going to Hong Kong for a while, then came back, and they released the album that I played you the first bit of music from in 2020. That got a lot more notice, and eventually they signed to Frontiers Records, which is a really awesome company. And they were the first Indian group ever signed to them too, which I think is super awesome. And since then they've released another album and they've even done a re-release of their first record because they had access to better things to produce it with. <laughs> so that's from the re-release. It's crazy to me hearing him just wail up there. There are moments where you can hear him start clean and then go into that grittier sound. But listening every time to the way that he's hooking up is just so impressive to me. I'm going to go back. Let's listen to that one more time. Oh. You hear that whoa in the background again, right? Right, there's a hook as he goes up to that top note. It's crazy. And that's where he starts it clean and then goes pretty quickly into a little more distortion of the sound. <laughs> bluesy even the way he riffs. Ugh. It's such an impressive sound. Oh my gosh. This is another totally impressive aspect of his voice that I just had to include because he explores so many different extended vocal techniques. And this one, he's like playing with this croak essentially, which is this lower vocal fry. It's not the same thing as a fry scream. There's, a, there's some similarities there, but they are, are different. Um, and so it's amazing how he's essentially incorporated this croak into the music and I like the way it feels like it's bubbling and then it just boils over into an instrumental section of a circle. <laughs> oh, back a little further. Right, he goes full, full harsh on that slide down. Urgh. I love this bass line. And the production on his voice is so awesome here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. To wrap it up, let's go back to Rock and Roll is here to say because I love the way that they are helping to establish rock and roll in India. Back control. <laughs> oh. 
Love that syncopation there too. Yeah. That endurance is crazy. Ugh. Love what they're doing. I hope that you will join me in listening to and sharing the music of Girish and the Chronicles. I'm going to put up a playlist over here of some of their awesome songs. And may you fall more in love with music every day.